Awesome. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, hope everyone had a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, very excited to get back on the charts. And, you know, after a weekend of recharging, unwinding, and, you know, definitely having some revelations, I'm, I'm very humbled and grateful to be, you know, presenting some information that, you know, changed my life and changed the way I trade. And it definitely drastically improved the way that I look at these candles on this website, TradingView. Um, if anybody can drop, drop a seven, seven, seven in the, uh, in the chat, just to see if we can hear if I'm, if I'm good audio wise. And if you can see the screen. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. So really first things first, I wanted to give everyone kind of a bare bones uh, look at the price trap trading st trading strategy and give you an insight as to how to look for trade setups. When you locate a trade setup, what you're ultimately waiting for, I'll give you examples. Um, and then towards the end, we'll actually be able to have like a Q and A session. So if anybody has any questions about anything that we discussed through you know, here tonight or just any other questions revolving trading mindset, entrepreneurship, like whatever it may be. So first things first, when we jump on these charts, they don't always look like this. I want to make sure everyone knows that the way that these charts are set up right now, just even how you see it on the screen is strategically done so that not only is it easy on the eyes, but it also gives you insight as to what is happening, right? So as everyone can see, I hope you can, I'll see this. I have something called session breaks on here. All right, so it's these vertical lines that basically indicate one whole day. All right, depending on whatever time zone you choose, it will line up directly with your time zone. Okay, the, the first thing that I ever learned when I started trading was the holy grail. And this goes back to like the, men, the Mamba mentality, you know, RIP Kobe. He, he always was talking about like motivation and being inspired and having, you know, just sickening work ethic and discipline towards his craft and when he was playing basketball you know making so many shots before practice before everybody else showed up and you know i applied that to my to my trading and you know to actually understanding price action and understanding what these candles all mean it definitely goes to show that when you dedicate yourself to learning one singular skill set and focusing all in on tunnel vision just getting good on at one thing and, and repetitive right whatever you repeat it becomes your your legacy right? It becomes your reputation. Repetition equals your reputation. So this is what I would do. Okay. I would go to a one hour time frame. Doesn't matter what currency pair. Eventually I did this with every single one, every single one that you see here on the right. This is called something called a watch list or a clip. You want to load your clip. Like let's say a gun has, you know, so many bullets. You can basically on tradingview.com here, you can actually like click these, these and uh, flags and highlight a pair. So let's say we're looking at this specific one. You can actually look and let's see, quickly mark this up. So the whole main, whole main point of this is to have something in your arsenal. So, cause trading a lot of like what, what the trading like idea of how to actually gain currency from exchanging currencies and you know, create revenue from digital numbers on a screen that's a worldwide market, uh, an entire global mar market and, and economy that you're able to tap into of over $6 trillion a day. It makes sense to actually take this thing seriously. So first and foremost, I hope everyone's um, taking notes. If you're not taking notes, um, get like a crayon or something, grab a, grab a piece of paper or something, write down some nugget that you get, something that you have to ask, anything that you need to write down. It's definitely going to help you because we as humans only retain about, I would say, 70% of what we're going to hear tonight. Obviously, it's going to be recorded, but I want everyone to realize that when you get on something like this and you extract the most amount of value, sure, that's great. You know, I've, I've been on calls and taken plenty of notes, but the magic never happened until I actually started to apply it. When you actually start applying what you learn, that's where everything begins to change.
you want you start to understand why that the content is given out so all you see is a basic overview of what price trap really is i drew up something called a ceiling and something called a floor most people caught that most people didn't i'm going to go through this once again on a much slower scale and break it down in detail so that way everyone can understand the price trap strategy how to create your charts and why we're even doing this in the first place so everyone follow me so far if, if everybody follows is if this makes sense go ahead and type type the number seven in the chat sweet just get some water All right. Okay, so back to what I was saying before, how this is like a holster for your clip, for your bullets, for your arsenal. This is your your arsenal of trades that you're going to be having, right? So what I'm going to go do here is go to just pick a random pair, and I'm going to scroll all the way out. Not all the way out, but all the way around the chart, and then scroll all the way to the left. All the way to the left. This is like how Christopher Terry learned how to trade. And this is how Christopher Derrick actually learned how to trade from Chris Terry was watching him having humility and just, just being quiet and not actually speaking when the educator was speaking. He just actually sat back, watched Chris Terry for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. And, oh, I already did it this one. But yeah, here, we'll delete everything, start fresh. So what we're ultimately looking for is the best positions for an entry because we want to enter the markets at such a point where there's just no drawdown. We want to get the best entries. Like, so for example, if I, if I said to you, you're a new trader, you need to either make it like place a sell position or a buy position in order to create revenue. If let's say these currencies, for example, the, the British pound to the New Zealand dollar, if these currencies increase in value or decrease in value, you can either capitalize on those. Um, we call them pips in the market. So for everybody who hasn't really gone through basics, this is a bit of a more advanced call, just focusing specifically on the strategy. But for right now, I'll give you a brief overview. So when we cat, we're actually able to catch capture pips in the market, we're basically capturing pieces, all right? And this was something that was brought to my attention a few months ago as well too, that all we're really after here is a purple box to make it so simple. All we want to do is capture purple boxes. Well, what's inside the purple box? Well, it's just an exchange in value. It's an exchange and a fluctuation in the rate of this currency. So the British pound to the New Zealand dollar, it has a bid and an ask price for both currencies. When they actually decrease, for example, the British pound, if it loses value, the New Zealand dollar will go up. Like this, this pair will go up. If it gains value, it will go down and vice versa. Okay, so, and really you don't need to know how any of this works. All you need to know is the candlesticks are either going up, the candlesticks are either going down, or another thing that you have to know is when the candlesticks are going side to side. So these are like pretty much the three main, let's do this. Yeah, so the market can only do three things, go up, go down, or go sideways. All we want to do as traders is get ahead and place our entries ahead of the, the downtrend or ahead of the uptrend, and that's how we create the revenue. So the price trap strategy when it actually is laid out at the fundamental point, all we're doing is, is watching price, price action. It's just what we're watching the candles print. And to make it so simple, like this is super easy. You watch these candles print. When these candles print, you either respond to what they're doing and how they print afterwards. And then that's when you that's when trading begins. When you respond when you begin to take yourself completely out of it, take trading completely out of it, remove all emotions. Because when you when you get on these charts, like for me, example for for example, like I have no emotion about these charts at all whatsoever. I don't feel happy. I don't feel glad. I don't feel sad. I don't feel frustrated. I don't feel disappointed. I don't feel any of that. I don't feel, you know, euphoric or anything. All I feel is that I'm sticking to a discipline. I'm sticking to a, a set of rules and parameters. So that way I can be able to teach how duplic how duplicatable trading truly is. Right. And with these three things here, if I can teach this to any person of any um, age, race, ethnicity, sex, whatever, doesn't matter. 
wherever you're from in the world, whatever you've done in the past, it doesn't matter. Up until this point right now, if you can base, understand these basic concepts that will be breaking down within the next 20 minutes before we go into Q&A, then it will truly take your trading to the next level. Okay, so first thing goes up, second thing goes down, last thing goes sideways. The market can literally not do anything else. Okay, so all we want to do is we want to capitalize on the buy positions or basically when the market goes up and we want to capitalize on when the market goes down. I'll give examples of both. So for example, right here, I take my horizontal line tool and I draw it from the body of the candle to the wick. And what that does is it creates a reversal zone. And for people who go through the IM Mastery Academy basics and the curriculum, it goes more in depth there. But for here, for right now, I'll just give you a brief overview. But all it is is this, you take your rectangle tool, you draw it from both trend lines that you just created, and that's your zone right there. What we've now created is something called a zone. Okay, now this was previously a ceiling because of the fact that price goes up and moves away from it, kind of like a ceiling. And then what happened was price actually broke through the ceiling, which was previously here, it broke through, and then went back into the ceiling zone which now creates a new something called a floor. So it broke the ceiling. Price went through it, went back into it. That's where the yellow circle is. That's where we press buy. And that's where we ultimately set our risk. Every time we do a one-to-one, -one, so it's 30 pip stop profit or 30 pip take profit, 30 pip stop loss. And that's trading right there, folks. That's how easy it is. This is it. You can take a screenshot of this too. Like this is a perf. This is like really a prime example of how to get better at trading too. Because if you can notice these things and see like, hey, I just created a zone, and then I I followed it as price actually bounced off of it once again, went through it, and then went back into it. That's literally all the confirmation that you need. The entry people always ask me, where do I enter? Where do I enter? Where do I get into the trade? Well, you get into the trade when price moves away from the zone, confirming it as a newfound floor. If you guys go back, and if you look in the price trap trading chat as well too, I give you the rules, I give you everything. Rules, parameters, wait for a break of support, wait for a break of resistance. Which one of those happened? Resistance is another term for a ceiling. And then support would be another term for a floor. But to make it super easy, we use ceiling, floor. So what happened here? This is just an example, by the way, this one here, USGJPY, this was called a while ago, but just to give you an idea of what the chart would look like and how you can set yours up too, to give you more edge as to why you're disciplining yourself so much to do this and to learn it and to really get it down to a science. Okay, so wait for a break of resistance. What happened? It broke resistance. So then what we'd be waiting for next is wait for a retest. And then the definition of a retest, everybody, it gets so confusing to me because I see London sessions going crazy. People in the chats are always like, when do I end? You know, like, like what is our true definition of a retest? Well, you know, my definition can be different from Chris Terry's than Chris Derrick's, Mike Sotero's, um, you know, Charles's retest definition is going to be different than Christian Borges. Like, it's all going to be your own definition, but the main fundamentals are all the same. We could be looking for different candle closes. We could lo be looking for so many different things, but if you simplify it by saying where price closes above the previous level of resistance or closes above the previous ceiling, which is resistance, that's all you need to know. So going back to this now too, this is a ceiling. We wait for the break and the retest, and then that's where we take our position. That's where we press buy twice because it says rules, twin trading. Every every order we take is two. So you take either a buy buy or sell sell. You press it twice. In the first order, you're taking you're doing a 30 pip take profit. In the second order, you're not taking you're not doing a take profit because then you wouldn't have the opportunity to trail. And of course, when I showed you this here. Uh, when you have this position here, once that green hit, like once that green candle passes this top green line, it takes you out of that position and your your take profit is hit. But then price kept going for, let's see, 
price kept going for, you know, over 300 pips. So do we want to capture 30 of those 317 potential, or do we want to catch the whole entire move? I vote the whole entire move. Does anybody else agree? If we want to capture all of these entire moves and be able to be able to like trail our stops, here, let's create a, this is like, here, let's see. This is like our stop loss. So it's down here at the bottom of this red zone. Once the, as in the rules, after 10 to 15 pips in profit, you set a two pip stop profit. So all that really means is once your stop loss or once your, your trade goes 10 to 15 pips in profit, you grab your stop loss and you move it above your profit or your entry line. Now you're in profit. So now even if price did eventually draw like come backwards towards that zone, you'll still be catching two pips, which is still a win. And why two pips you ask? Well, it's because it calculates for the spread. Right, because some of the spreads on these currencies are a lot of you know crazy, and a lot of people put it just to break even, and sometimes you'll end with a negative trade. If you want to have all positive trades, you know, I'm not not making any any claims that you will get all positive trades, because of course you got to take some lessons. But the whole main point of why you even put the stop profit in there is to do exactly that: stop your profit. Right, so even risk free is this, this is the best way I can describe it. Once you, you um, capture your 30 pips and that two pip stop profit is in place, this is where you can begin to drag your stop loss. Let's say this is your stop loss. You put it two pips above, then you keep trailing. You see that price keeps going up, keeps going up. Oh, moved up. So look at, I grab my stop loss and I move it below this recent low. And then it goes up and up and up. And I see this red candle, I'm like, oh no. I move it again. Below this recent low and then let's say price eventually did hit it we're still capturing from our entry point you know 196 or so pips out of the possible 300 so that's over you know that's over 60 percent over 70 percent of one move in this largest market in the entire world on one currency pair that took how long did this take this took, here, let's see. Just wanna give you a parameter of how long you have to wait for some of this stuff. Okay, so ceiling, ceiling. This took about one day or two days. It took about, yeah, it says one day, 23 hours right here. So would you be okay with making 213 pips Depending on the capital and equity of your account, that could be $21, that could be $213, or that could be $2,100. Or $21,000, depending on, again, it's all depending on the capital and equity in your own personal uh, trading brokerage account. But this number is, is key. The only, like, if the same concept it takes to make $1 in the market is the same concept that it takes to make a million, a hundred billion dollars in the market, right? All this is, is learning how to scale up your positions, utilizing the same strategy over and over and over and over and over again. Where you, again, your repetition becomes your reputation because you get so dialed in on one strategy, one way of doing things that you do not waver and you, you do not quit. The, the, the only way I say that you could fail in trading is number one, if you don't log in with your username and password and utilize the services that obviously the academy and the platform provides. And if you do nothing, that's the only way you'll fail is if you quit, if you just stop and, or if you do nothing, you're still active, but you're doing nothing. Okay. So I hope that's making sense. Does everybody, does anybody have any questions on that so far? Let's type a one, 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 if that's making sense so far. See those ones in the chat. Ooh, sweet. Appreciate it. Look at this. This is what I love too. This is all about community. Right. We don't have to learn alone. You know, there's there's people on this call that I know need something like this. There's people on this call and watching this video on YouTube right now that I know could actually take some of this information, extract the most amount of value from it. Go ahead and learn not only just to learn for themselves, but learn to it with the intention to teach. All right now, if you don't want to teach this to other people and you just want to catch pips, that's fine. That's totally cool, too. But imagine if you were creating an army. It's a volunteer army with this. Right, you either 
upfront know about the discipline, you know, the, the disciplines that it takes, you know, that about the sacrifices it takes upfront, like trading is obviously not easy, but it's extremely simple if you make it that way. And I, I hope, I, I hope I've done a pretty good job of making it simple on this call tonight here, which is this small example, right? So now this is like the, the Holy grail. We keep continuing to follow this trend, right? So look at, we see something called price moving up, hitting, and then moving away. So that would create something called a ceiling. So we create a ceiling right here. Price moves above that ceiling and then eventually comes back down to retest back in this newfound zone. So it's just, you're, you're creating zones over and over and over again. And once you create these zones enough times, you'll be able to realize like where, where these zones are set up. Just because, you know, one person has been doing this for however long, it doesn't mean that they're better than anybody else trading wise. It doesn't mean that their positions or their entries or their numbers on their account is better than anybody else's. You know, again, humility, humility is key with this whole thing. If you, if you think you have a big ego or like if you, you know, if you let your ego get out of control and you think that you're better than somebody else, can we stop doing that? Like I, I've, I'm, I've, I've been at a few events where people act might, you know, high and high and mighty because they know a specific strategy and nobody else in the room does. Do you want to be that type of person that exudes love, exudes energy and exudes light? Or do you want to be that person that kind of just sucks the energy out of the room because it's all about them. It's all about them. It's all about them. Right. I wanted to bring this to not, not only the, the masses, but just to every, you know, average Joe so that they could be like, oh, wow. Well, you know, I learned how to trade from, you know, just straight up going on a YouTube channel and, and watching somebody break down charts over the, you know, over the shoulder view, basically seeing my entire screen so that you can be able to not only capitalize on everything, but just kind of learn and, and study, right? All this stuff is here for you guys. All this stuff is here. This is, this is one year ago. It's crazy because it's like one year ago. It's like anniversary right now. So I've been doing this for a year on YouTube exclusively, right? But th this has gone deeper than everything else because I put my heart, soul, blood, and tears into this. And I know that the however many people are on here, 300 and 260 something these numbers don't matter to me like the people behind those numbers truly matter to me that you get a value and they are actually getting something that you could take and apply tonight for the rest of the week so that way you can not only create currency for yourself and help yourself get out of the situation that you need or just improve but at the end of the day become a better person you know what's being a the best trader in the world if you're not a good person if you're just kind of a jerk all the time if, if people don't want to be around you if people don't want to you know, spend time with you because you always talk about something bad or you always have a problem for this, you know, the solutions. We want to be solution oriented. So obviously with the economy and the world right now, I want to get too political on here, but I just want everyone to understand like trading is so, so, so powerful. It's so, so, so powerful. But if you don't actually take advantage of that power and don't harness it and train it and, and build the skill set and draw these zones on the charts, and watch for breaks and retests, especially if you're focusing on price trap, it's just not gonna happen. And like, I wish you love, I wish you, you know, uh, benevolent greatness on your journey, wherever that may take you. But for right now, when I'm on here getting on these charts and just, just trying to give value and, and trying to, you know, again, exude positivity, love, light, and you know, understanding from all perspectives, that there's no, there's nothing greater than that to me, you know, in my opinion, so. Uh, next thing I want to do is the downtrend, right? So we saw, we see price as a ceiling, floor, we see a ceiling, we see a floor, we see a ceiling, and we see a floor, and then price is a ceiling, but the ceiling did not become a floor. However, the floor eventually became a ceiling. So what that would be called is a shift in momentum. This is what Christopher Terry taught Christopher Derrick when he was learning how to trade first. He understood that there was a move a correction and then the real move there was a move a correction and then the real move so being able to capitalize on these real moves is truly what you know made christopher derrick who he is today and i mean if you even if you go back and watch his instagram lives how he talks about frequencies and vibrations and how he talks about you know making sure that everybody's self-aware enough to be able to forgive yourself but now that you know how to control your emotions and how to control you know, your, your emotional intelligence. 
and doing these meditation, doing the breath work, doing all this stuff, you just got to start, you know, who cares what it looks like at first. The point is that you started and you're years ahead of the person still sitting on the couch doing nothing, just collecting a check and waiting for life to pass them by or waiting for somebody to knock on their door and say, you know, here you go. Here's everything you've ever wanted, but you didn't have to work for it. You know, hoping and praying that something's going to change. You know, there's a line in a song that I listened to. It's called, I think it's, I don't remember what song it was, but gee, easy. If anybody's familiar with that person, that artist, I, oh no, it's, it's called the plan. If anybody's into rap music on here, you could go search up The Plan by G-Eazy. And I think at the end of the song, he does like a little interlude where he says, you just got to get it. And that's such a, like, that's, I mean, it sounds kind of strange, but when he said, you got to get it, like he's truly giving away a key, a major key right there. But most people just think it's something to say to be cool or, or to get clout or, or to whatever, you know, so it sounds cool. But you got to get it. And then immediately after he said, them six, seven figures ain't going to make themselves. So take that in. It's the, the, the abundance and the wealth out there is not going to make itself. You have to get on here. You have to get on these charts. Draw your floors. Draw your ceilings. Wait for breaks and retests. And continue to draw. Continue to draw. And capture these purple boxes. <laughs> How easy is this? Right. And a lot of times people, you know, like I know there's going to be questions at the end here because I'm going to go into some questions after I find a few live trade setups right now for you guys. Because I know I saw a USD CHF on the scanner and I drew it out for everyone just so everyone can have this. I'm also going to post this in there in the chat. But I wanted to give this kind of as an example, too. But before I move on, um, was there any other questions for the people watching live here? Just type your questions in the chat right now. If not, I'm going to kind of draw this up as I go along here because when this is this pattern is called out on the harmonic scanner, if um, you don't know what the harmonic scanner is, that's fine. I've done videos about this before as well, too, but it's basically a tool um, that you can utilize that gives you high probability uh, trade setups. Basically gives you a forecast for the market, and that's how you can basically swim next to the whales of the market because obviously if you guys do some research on foreign exchange you'll realize that um, the largest you know hedge funds banks they control all the wealth so therefore they have all the balls in their court for lack of a better expression they have all the money all the wealth and what they're doing is they're trading it in these markets and causing these markets to do these crazy moves either up or down so what we created is something called um, pattern recognition where it uses Fibonacci patterns to actually create these forecasts. And what happened here on this specific currency pair for USD CHF, just for the review, because I know it, it's it's Monday night, you know, when London session hits in about mm, an hour, I think. Yeah, like an hour and a half, two hours. It's going to be like the markets are really going to be begin to moving and showing their structure throughout the week. So this is where we can begin to not only secure what we're going to be looking for arsenal wise, right? Again, using these, red tags you can actually see where um where the rest of these moves are going to be coming from okay so for example this one usd chf we trap price up here we trap price down here so ceiling floor right and this is exactly when the when the trade was called out price moved inside the zone or, or inside the barrier is trapped in here finally broke out and did a retest now if you were to do an entry at this it went up 10 to 15 pips. It went up almost 16 pips. So you would be securing your two pip stop profit. Boom, once it hits your two pip stop profit, takes you out of the trade, boom, you reset, right? But now what you can also do is realize that this created a, another ceiling. So you just keep drawing up your ceilings and your floors, right? Nobody's gonna get mad at you if you're learning how to trade and you keep drawing on your charts. No, you know, nobody's gonna be mad at that. Okay, so ceiling, floor. This is the most recent levels. What happened was the ceiling did not become a floor. However, the floor, it price broke through and then retested back into that level as a newfound ceiling. So it broke the floor, became a ceiling. And then that yellow circle is basically where your entry would be. 
So you'd be in this technically right now. If you did enter this, great. If not, that's okay too. It's a learning experience. And right now, as we can see, this is a floor. Floor. Broke through the floor. Retested. Let's see. So on our way to another entry right here too. Now I'm not saying to take this trade. You know, obviously, you know, trade at your own risk. Uh, past results do not indicate future results. Results are not typical. It does require a lot of hard work, dedication, time, and energy to learn how to trade. But this is what we're looking for. This is it. If these candles move towards this direction, then that means good. If these candles move towards this direction, that also means good. Right? Don't like I said before, emotions. If you eliminate all of your emotions. If you deter your mental capacity and take away all of the preconditioned patterns that you think are true, if you take all that away and you just truly look at what's on the screen and get deep with it and see that this, this is a green candle, this is a red one, this is a green one, this is a green one, where is it on the chart? Is it under, underneath my zone? Is it above my zone? Right? If you just begin to look at everything with a childlike perspective, I realize that, you know, if you take this seriously, it will pay you seriously. But if this is just a hobby to you, then it will pay you like a hobby. And I don't want to break the news to anybody on here, but those don't pay much, right? Now, I know like, let's see here. There was a couple other trades um, that I wanted to call out to or kind of just look at. But another thing that you could do when you're first learning or when you're first getting on here, how to find your trade setups. I know that was one of the questions. Let's see. Go to this, let me pull up this chat real quick. Yeah, that was like how to find your trade setups. You can basically go through, um, go through your currency pairs on your watch list here, and you know trap price. Just just get good at trapping price. You know if if price looks like it's moving to the upside, and you're seeing a clear trend or a clear pattern, then that would be a good one. You know, but if something looks here, I'll give you an example of something that looks choppy or that you something want to stay away from because it's a lot of indecision yeah like something like this this would be a lot of indecision right because of how choppy price has been there's no true structure so i would be staying away from something like this but if we keep going down the list we can begin to see some of the structure here look at this perfect euro odd so we make our floor we make our most recent level of a ceiling. Not this one, not this one, but this one. Why? Because it's the most recent level of a ceiling. So I go from that body, the wick, to the candle, and then boom. Price is now stuck in between this floor and then this ceiling. Now all we're waiting for is a break and retest. I feel like I've said this so many times, but it's just true. That's, that is what we are waiting for. When it does happen, we do not, resp we do not react. Oh my goodness, it, it hit. You know, the, the trade is going, I got to I got to enter, I got to enter. No, you're simply responding. You're simply saying, okay, this happened. Great. This is what I'm going to do. Cool. That's the discipline that you have to train and practice kind of like a muscle. All right. This is all mostly muscle memory and um, mental discipline. This is a true, key, two main keys that you can take away from this whole thing is muscle memory, which is you doing something over and over and over again to the point where you don't even know that you're doing it. You're, you're consciously, you're consciously unconscious about doing those actions. All right. So look at this. And then the, this is the whole main thing we're looking for. When you say, Oh, we're looking for a break and a retest. What does that mean? This is what it means. I want price to move downwards, close below, doesn't matter where. And then what I want price to do is come back up into this area and then move down. And then that's ultimately where we would capitalize on our position as indicated by this yellow circle. How easy is that? If that's easy, go ahead and type the number eight in the chat box real quick. If you think that is easy, if you wait for price to do a move up above this ceiling, close above, move back into this previous ceiling and become a floor, if you think that's easy, just go ahead and type the number eight. If everybody's kind of grasping the concept so far, and if it's making sense, cool. Now, who's gonna 
you know, before London session tonight or, or before whenever you're about to trade or whenever you're about to look at the charts, who's that going to actually go on their charts, drop their ceilings, floors, and then go ahead and drop them in this thing here called the price trap community. Who's going to actually drop a chart in there to be like, here, this is what I did on Euro odd copy. How easy is this? All I'm using is like one finger copy paste. Boom. There you go. Now look at this. People can click on this, creates an image. You can actually save this image if you need, whatever it is. But this is a trade setup. You got your ceiling, you got your floor. We're waiting for a break, a retest, and then that's where we take the entry. Or we're waiting for a break of the ceiling and a retest to become a floor and for price to continue up. Easy. If something if if something is difficult, please speak now. If if anybody has any other questions, please speak now. The, the YouTube channel is here, right? This detailed workshop, I went in depth on price, um, price action as well as risk management, same here with the launch call. And then I go over back testing, like how to draw your zones. I went in depth on that one too. Like just going through the whole journey has just been crazy to see the progression. So I hope every, every single person here took something from this. Um, for the last, I think I'm gonna end this in about two minutes, but if I didn't get to anything else, again, I'm going to keep doing these sessions so that way people can still jump on here, get value and, you know, ultimately learn how to trade. You know, I'm not saying I'm not claiming to be a guru. I, I'm not claiming to have, you know, massive, massive success. But what I am claiming to know is how to draw up ceilings, how to drop floors, how to wait for a break and a retest and an entry. Hmm. Thank you, Stan. Thank you for watching all the videos, man. Yeah, this and like, look, I don't, I don't mean to, you know, come across as somebody who's like knows everything. I, I just simply have taken my experience, put it into the, you know, these videos are 40 minutes, they're 20, 19, 46, you know, 50 minutes a piece. So there's tons of tons of value on here too, right? The four fundamentals of trading. This call I did with one of my friends, Mr. Tyler Brewer, and uh, you know, more visual representation of the actual zones and the actual areas being like if that looks confusing to you it shouldn't all it is is boxes circles and squares and they're all color coded and the colors never change right let's see yeah i think yeah tyler was showing his charts on here too somewhere Oh, yeah. For those who wanted to know what the harmonic scanner looks like, there it is. That's basically what it is. But yeah, that's it. Um, I have less than one minute here, guys. I'm gonna post this up. To I, I don't know if the Euro GBP was. Maybe it is. Oh. But yeah. Um. Again, the 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 chat isn't going anywhere. The community isn't going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Appreciate you guys so much for real for watching. This means the world to me. Like, I just want to exude greatness to everyone and gratitude to everybody.